Okay. Today we're gonna get ready. I don't know where we're going, but my mom wants to get out the house. She wants to get me out the house specifically because I just sit in bed all day, which is understandable, I guess, but I literally don't know where we're going. So, y'all are gonna get ready with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I have these clips in. They're not gonna match my outfit, I don't think. I've just had these clips in for like a week and have not taken them out. She wanted me to wear like, I guess not dramatic, dramatic, but like makeup, like I usually do because she wants to take pictures for um, this thing that we're trying to do. Last night, I don't even know if it was like, it wasn't even last night, it was like maybe three, four in the morning. I was looking for stuff because I wanted to stretch my ears. And so I was like looking for tapers, but like a whole set and not just, and not just a single one like a single pair of tapers. So I was looking for a whole set and I found one on Amazon and it also came with pinchers because I also wanted to stretch my septum because this is way too small for my nose. But even if it wasn't small for my nose, I probably would have wanted to stretch it either way because I want like, I don't know, I want to go up to like maybe a 10 or eight gauge maybe. I was looking for a whole set so that I could do it all at once, like I didn't have to make separate purchases. And I found one, but then I realized that I would need to get the jewelry for it. So I was looking for 10 and 12 gauge horseshoes for like my septum. I had looked on, I had looked on body candy. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I looked on body candy and Coincidentally, they had like a whole 50% off sale of everything until 8 a.m. And it was like three in the morning and I was like, wow, that's such a weird coincidence. Anyways, so I bought tapers off Body Candy instead. And it turns out they don't have 10 or 12 gauge horseshoes, which I mean, I guess is expected. Most body piercing like jewelry, body jewelry websites. They only go up to like a 14 gauge and horseshoes. Um, I ended up finding them, but I'm gonna buy them later. I kinda wanna just put makeup on the top side of my face. Cause I feel like if I put it on the bottom side of my face, it wouldn't, like there's no point. And then I'm just gonna sweat it all off today anyways. So yeah, we're just gonna put it on the top side of my face. Yeah, and I'm so happy with what I found. I I got me clear ones because, I don't know, I just thought that it would be cool to be able to like see through the hole in your ear, but I'm not even sure if you're gonna be able to see through it because it only goes from 14 to 00, zero and that's kind of small. Like, I already know that I'm gonna wanna go past 00, zero but that's in the future, you know? And I can't wait till they come. That's so exciting. I've been looking into buying um, a tattoo gun. And I don't know, I feel like once when I get it, it's gonna be like, oh, you got it. Cause like all these other people are getting it. But like, no, I've literally been looking into buying this for like two years, but I've never just taken the time because it's like, you can't like spend your money on a cheap one. Cause then I feel like it's just gonna break. Why am I missing so many brushes? Okay, this is gonna stress me out. Okay, I don't know where my brushes are, so we're just gonna use this brush instead. It literally would not make any difference to you. You don't know the difference between my brushes. Anyways, back to the tattoo gun. <laughs> but yeah, and then I'm also like only 15. So it's like if I get it, no one's gonna be like, 
oh my god like she's actually serious about this but like i really think i am serious like i i feel like i'm serious i don't know because if i don't become whatever i want to be and i literally don't even know what that is yet i don't even know what i want to become when i grow up like i don't know what i want to go to college for and i know that sounds really bad but like i don't know what you want me to say like you want me to make something up? You want me to say I want to become a doctor or something? Like, no, I'm not going to do that. When I was little, I used to want to become a lawyer because I liked arguing with people a lot. But that's just not for me. That sounds like a whole lot of work. And then don't you have to go to like, I think it's like over six years of school. I don't know. I may be wrong. I really may be wrong. But either way, I could not do that. I'm already stressing about going to school for another four years and I don't even know if I want to go to school for another four years like like I don't know saying that you're just a high school graduate and then you did not go to college sounds really bad but like if you think about it it really depends on what you want to become because like if I don't want to become like a fucking doctor or something or like a lawyer or like something that I actually need school for, like a mathematician or something. Like I remember in school they used to ask if you wanted to become a mathematician and I'd be like, literally, what is that? Why would I want to become something that I can't even spell? But yeah, that's all. Basically, I just don't know what I want to do or be, but I feel like I have another two years to figure it out. So I should be good. I mean, in the end, I could always just not go to college and go straight into what I actually want to be, which is like a tattoo artist or like something in the art industry. Like, I know that you can go to college to be something in the art industry, but like, I feel like that's a whole lot of extra time wasted for artists. And I've talked to actual artists and a lot of them are just, sorry, I was waiting for the airplane to go by. But a lot of the artists that I talk to are just like college dropouts because college literally does nothing if you're in the art industry. Like most of the time, most of the time. So if I can't become whatever I want to do in the art industry, then I'm just going to become a tattoo artist because I really think that the industry is super cool and they come up with really good designs and I'm, I think I'm a pretty good artist. Like I could use a lot of growth but i think f for my age i think i'm a pretty good artist and the school that i went to last year not latin like not really last year more like two months ago because it's summer right now but the school that i went to i guess they're really big on their art program so i was obviously in art class i'm literally not even sure what i was talking about Oh, okay. Basically, I was in art class and I did a few art projects and they got into like art contests. I never won, but I got second place in one of them. And they also, two of them got into art museums. So that was cool. I feel like that would be a really good start for me, especially to go on my portfolio or something. But yeah. Um, that's enough talk about that because I literally don't even know what I was talking about and I'm not going to be able to keep on track. My eyebrows still look too thick. I want to just make them like fucking super duper thin but I don't know because I might regret it and I'm like yeah like imagine if that was thin and all this is thin. I don't know. I might. I probably will. Okay I've been thinking about re my hair. Like, I know I just dyed it, like, probably, like, let me stop saying, like, I don't like how this one's so round, and this one's, like, it's fine, I'll just deal with it. I was thinking about getting my gesture pierced, and, like, if you don't know what that is, it's, like, the one that goes through your upper lip, like, it's, like, right here and right here. But, yeah, I told my mom about it, and she was, like, Mm, I don't know about that. So we're gonna try to convince her <laughs> because I really want that piercing. Okay, I literally just did this 
not too long ago why does it look so bad doing it today i think i just made the line too thick i'm gonna do one eye and then try the other eye yeah no i don't like that i feel like i just ruined my makeup oh well we'll fix it people literally think that i know how to do makeup i actually do not know how to do makeup at all if my makeup looks good it's literally just because i'm lucky um i don't know if i want to do like big lashes or just small regular size ones i don't like how that's not like sharp i don't know if i like this eyeliner i haven't done makeup like this in forever so i kind of forgot how to do makeup like this i feel like it would have looked better if i didn't do this part i don't really like that part maybe i could just keep it i don't know i think i'll just keep it since i already did it i don't know if i like that i don't think i like that i can never tell if i'm like whispering on camera or if it's just my voice is just soft because then like when i'm talking i look back at the video and then i realize i was whispering the whole time and i'm like okay well i wasn't trying to it's not the thinking it's not the thinking yeah, I don't like this. I don't like it. I'm gonna take it off. I don't know, it may look good with the outfit and I don't wanna just ruin my whole... I feel like it's okay, it's okay. I'll just keep it. It's fine, it's literally okay. I'm just gonna do my other eye off camera and then I'm gonna come back because I'm literally not gonna be talking the whole time. Okay, I'm back. I just did highlight and then i put some blush in some other places because i felt like i feel like i didn't have enough okay now i just okay first of all i'm missing one of my brushes which is the brush that i use to never mind i found it um <laughs> i can't decide if i want to do black or if i just want to do no we're just gonna do like a, um like a burgundy like a dark color because I feel like doing black would be too much. I don't know. Okay, I use this Burt's Bees lip balm, tinted lip balm. No, it's like a matte lipstick actually. But it's actually, it actually works really well. Like it's basically like a chapstick, like a Burt's Bees chapstick. It just has like color to it. Okay, great. That only took like fucking an hour. Anyways, we're gonna get dressed now. Okay, so this is the outfit all together. Don't mind the stuff in the back. We're like moving and the boxes are stuff that my mom has for sales. But this is the whole outfit. I don't know if I like the way that this shirt is and I feel like it's gonna get hot. Okay, thank you for watching.